Forget about the monsters Underneath your bed Sleep a little longer Is what you used to say to me Forget about the darkness It's all just in your head Sleep a little longer Is what you used to say Tell me why you have to leave right now Think I'm losing my mind about now Yeah, all I'm seeing is stars Cause I'm so lost without you Tell me when can we speak again Cause I don't think I can wait till then Yeah, I look up to the stars Cause I'm so lost without you From underneath my bed We watch films together And reminisce by what you used to say And when I'm caught in the shadows When it's hard to see I kickstart the floodlights in my head Just like you said to me Tell me why you have to leave right now Think I'm losing my mind about now yeah, all I'm seeing is stars Cause I'm so lost without you Tell me when can we speak again Cause I don't think I can wait till then Yeah, I look up to the stars Cause I'm so lost without you
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that little speed build of an angler house kind of waterfall oasis kind of thing. I don't know what it is, but I hope you enjoyed it anyways. Hello, bunny. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, not too proud of this build. Uh, the main reason being that I think that Terraria is mainly about presentation and how you go through your world seeing the world uh, through the screen that is around you. So when I look at this scene right here of my monster farm, I can pretty much see everything that is below me and above me. And uh, it looks good. This cathedral build is another good example of a uh, uh, well-built scene in Terraria. My character can pretty much see the whole entire build, even the stuff under it, uh, which is nice. It looks good. You can see everything you need to, and there's nothing to really imagine. But this one, uh, when I walk through my world, naturally, I don't see much. This is cut off completely, half a house right here, and this waterfall looks terrible right now and you can't even see the pool of water. So I'm not an expert on how to build in Terraria by any means, but um, this is what I'm thinking that the problem with my build is, is this. Uh, it just doesn't uh, fit in the whole entire build from where you are getting it presented by. Even here, where you go through the build, through the teleporter, you still can't see everything. Uh, if I take off my mini-map quickly. Uh, the waterfall here looks good, I guess, but really the best way to look at this build is right over here in this angle, so that I can see the whole thing. Now this looks good, but the only way to have this presented properly in a, in a Terraria world would be that, um, if I just go into the right position here, uh, would be that the, the bridge actually comes down here, but that would require me cutting off a large chunk of this dirt here and getting rid of this tree, which I'm not too happy with doing because even though I'm not necessarily proud of this build, I still do believe that it looks alright to some degree. I also really like this house here, I think it looks really cozy. Yeah, so there's another couple things I don't really like. The b walls didn't look as good as I thought they would in my head, and the, the, the waterfall doesn't really look natural in this area. By the way, the waterfall design is not created by me, by any means. I believe it is actually Fury Forge. Uh, Fury Forge being a very popular speed build and let's play Terraria YouTuber. I'm sure you've heard of him. So shout out to him. He has way more subscribers than me since, you know, I have nothing but my mom and friends watching me, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, so this, this build looks... I'm not proud of it, but I'm still gonna post it because the build all in all took around an hour and a half to two hours of work. To do and even though it doesn't necessarily look as good as my other builds or uh, it's not presented properly I still think that I will post it mainly because I need to get something out this week yeah I hope you enjoyed the speed build the little angular house uh, if you didn't constructive criticism is always appreciated or just compliments or something that's always did too. But the main thing I want is suggestions for next builds that I'm going to do. Because um, uh, I'm running out of ideas. I have a couple ideas planned, but they will soon be done, and I won't have much. So if you would like to comment down it below, uh, that would be amazing. And just give any suggestions or uh, constructive criticism about this build. Especially this build, since I'm not necessarily proud of it. If you have any suggestions on how to make this thing look better, besides... It just uh, destroying this whole thing and then creating a bridge that goes lower. I don't think it would look good if we did that. But if you have any ideas of that, always much appreciated. I'm Darken, and I'll see you later.